Hi, this is Ryan Lin with the Ethical Hacker Network, and we're going to be talking about capturing NTLM challenge credentials with Metasploit and Beef. You can contact me at Cicero at HappyPacket.net or Cicero on Twitter. EthicalHacker.net is Ethical Hacker Network's website. You can find Beef at www.bindshell.net, Samurai at Samurai.ingardians.com, and Metasploit at www.metasploit.com. Up until this point, we have successfully connected Beef with Metasploit. We're going to be verifying that that connectivity still exists, and we can test this by going under Browser Modules and MSF Browser Exploit. And if you see in this window the list of exploits successfully loaded, then we are connected. Next, we're going to go under Browser Modules. We're going to do MSF SMB Challenge Theft. We have a list of zombies over on the left. The one we're going to be targeting is this Windows running IE box. We select it, and all of our uh, options look OK, so we're going to hit Send Now. We see SMB exploit launched, which indicates that we have successfully told Metasploit to launch our NTLM credential theft module. At this point, we're waiting in Beef for the module to load, and then Beef will automatically send over the URL to our zombie to connect back to Metasploit and use the module. We can see module result has come up, which means that we have successfully sent the URL over to the client. What's happening on the client is we have set a static challenge in the server. When the client connects to the server, it retrieves that static challenge, and then a hash is created consisting of the static challenge and the LM and NTLM hashes of the user logged in. That hash of the two together is sent back to the server, and we're logging those. The fact that the challenge credential is static means that this is now attackable via rainbow tables, which will drastically reduce the time uh, to crack the passwords. In addition, if LM is being sent over, we can only attack the first seven characters, and as most passwords are not longer than ten, brute forcing the last three is a lot shorter than trying to brute force the entire password. We should now have the hashes. Down here we see two links, captured hashes and captured hashes for Kane and Abel. We're going to download the captured hashes. You see a pop-up box and it's downloading log file. We're going to save this and we're going to save this to temp log file. Now coming back under our shell window we can look at our log file and we can see two things. We can see today's date and this is an earlier attempt. We see today's date, the IP address it came from, the host name, the user that was logged in, and this is our LM challenge and this is our NTLM challenge. In a later video when we look at how to crack these, this will be the challenge we'll use, the LM challenge. This is going to be all for the scope of today's video, but you've now seen how to acquire the NTLM challenge and LM challenge. If you want to find out more, visit us at www.ethicalhacker.net or email me at cicero at happypacket.net.